Hello. Welcome to Flexibility Learning Channel. In this video we will learn about use case diagrams. In this video we will learn. What is a use case diagram? Components of use case diagram. How to draw a use case diagram, example. First of all, what is a use case diagram? Use case diagram is a behavioral diagram in Unified Modeling Language, UML. It shows the interaction between actors and the system. It provides a view of functional requirements of a system. It is commonly designed during the early stages of system development. Moving towards the component of use case diagram. First component is system boundary. In use case diagram system is developed within a system boundary. System boundary is exactly like this rectangle shape. Next component is actors. Actors represents external entities such as users, other systems etc. Actors present outside the system boundary. Actors are represented just like a person. Next component is use cases. Use cases represent the specific functionalities or services that the system provides to its actors. Use cases are present inside the boundary. Uses case are represented by eclipse shape. Next component is association. It is a line which connects actors with use cases. It mean the function which actor is going to perform is represented by this line. It also shows which actor perform which function. Association is represented by simple line as show. Next component is generalization. Generalization means that one uses case have properties of other use case. For example, we all are our parents' children, and we all have some properties which we have gained from our parents. So generalization is same as inheritance. In this one use case, say child, inherit some properties from other use case, say parent. Next there are two types of relationships that occur in use case diagram. One is include relationship, and the other one is exclude relationship. Both these relationships are almost same. The key difference is include relationship is necessary in use case diagrams and system cannot work without it. For example, when we withdraw money from ATM machine, we have to first insert our card to login. So withdraw money is a use case but it cannot be done without login. So withdraw money and login both have include relationship. On the other hand, when we take money from ATM, it gives us choice to take a remaining balance receipt or not. This is exclude relationship, it means it is optional. Whether we like to have a receipt or not. System will work otherwise. So the key difference between include and exclude is that, include is necessary for system to work, but exclude is optional. Now we will learn use case diagram by an example of system. Here we have taken banking system as an example and its use case diagram is shown. First of all there is a name of a system, which is bank system, written on the top of system boundary. Then there are three main uses cases, which is withdraw money, deposit money, and transfer money. These three uses case are main use cases in this system. All three of them are joined by an actor, which is customer, through an association line. It means customer is performing all three functions. He can withdraw money, deposit money, and transfer money. All the three uses case have an include relationship with login. It means these use cases cannot be performed without logic first. As I have already told, include relationship is necessary in system. So login is necessary. Without login, system will not work. There is also an exclude relationship of take receipt with withdraw money. It means when customer withdraw money, he has a choice to take receipt or not. This exclude relationship will not harm system in any way. Then there are two actors on the right side of system, one is bank staff and other one is accountant. Notice that there is generalization relationship between bank staff and accountant. It means accountant has some properties which he inherits from bank staff. In easy words, bank staff perform duty of bank, and accountant also perform duty of bank. So they both have generalization relationship. This was all about use case diagrams. If this video was helpful please do like this video and subscribe for more learning videos.